So let's switch now to a different demo. We want to take a look at the vehicle demo. And we'll tackle this kind of extrude option in there. Extrade. And see if we can kind of build something quickly that's unique. So I'm going to go into Lightbox. Oops. Okay. Pull out my sphere. Here we go. I'm going to go along the bottom. Pull something out. Notice that that um, having the uh, accu curve on makes a big difference. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out some kind of shape that works. Sometimes we'll go in with, say, snake hook. I don't really know what that is, but it's kind of neat. So I'll dynamesh that to give myself a little bit more room to play. I'm going to set resolution there, say dynamesh. I'm going to not freeze it. Polygon resolution is irrelevant now. So there's some kind of control seat up here. See how nice and clean that is? And uh, foot rest. foot well, I think they, yeah, there we go. Not using anything except for move and this kind of, and this accu curve. All right, anything else that I really want? Let's just get that a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more round. Okay, I don't need to waste your time designing. We just want to get something that works and has a certain interest level. Okay, almost there. All right, so I've started to sculpt a little bit of something. I'm going to really demonstrate how rough this can be, you know, because I'm going to get in there and start using clay buildup. And you may never want to use clay buildup when you start doing this kind of this soft surface stuff because you might be thinking, well, you know, it's going to get in the way, yada, yada. Uh, you have to start smooth, you have to end smooth, and that's really the primary thing that I want to tackle here. We're going to create something, but what I want you to do is pay attention to how loose everything is going to be. I'm going to start sculpting this just like I would a face, just like I would anything organic. I'm just going to start really pushing and seeing if I can get something interesting. Because, you know, it's hard enough to get something interesting. You don't want the features to be beating you over the head. Okay, I don't even know what that's going to be, but okay, I'm going to dynamesh it all the same. And um, dynamesh that all the same. Dynamesh that.
Dynamesh that. Ooh, that's ugly. Let's leave that. So, um, Dynamesh. Dynamesh. Okay, I don't know what that'll do. Okay, I want this to be a little smoother, but I'm not going to argue with Z, uh, with ZBrush right now on that. I'm not going to try to get that perfect. In fact, I'm going to undo anything that tries to. And I'm going to just come in here and establish a bit of an instrument panel. And that seat. Okay. And the other thing I'll do is throw in a little bit in there. Okay. This is now a canvas for me to start organizing. That's the primary thing I want to be communicating is we've roughed this in a little bit. And in fact, I really want, let me add some kind of window. Okay. Uh, slash three. Okay. 